give the floor to Pascal and uh, Pascal Popla and Amelie Church from Sorbonne University, Sorbonne University, who are going to, as a last presentation, really going to tell us about some concrete action at universities in switching to open databases. Amelie, Pascal, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you and hello everyone. Uh, I think our presentation will be uh, directly in line with uh, the previous one, uh, but uh, talking how we switch from uh, proprietary uh, bibliometric tool, uh, web of science, uh, in, uh, as a matter of fact, to open Alex, um, but without during a transition period. Um, so, uh, as I think a lot of people know, we unsubscribed from the Web of Science in 2024 and to turn to OpenLX as the only bibliometric tool that we would be using. Uh, we never had any subscription to stop us. So, um, the, the presentation is about why we switch, uh, how do, do we work on having a smooth transition uh, from the two tools and uh, where we are at the moment, uh, six months later, where we are going, uh, where we want to go uh, afterwards. And um, so, um, I'm sorry. Um, Pascal, yes, is following the presentation. Uh, just as a short presentation, um, one of the problems we had with the web of science is the coverage of the output from the university. Uh, we have three faculties of the university, uh, science and engineering and uh, health uh, faculty. So for both those faculties, uh, the coverage in the web of science was uh, satisfactory, not perfect, but satisfactory. But uh, for the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, uh, we were confronted with the problem that uh, we didn't have a good coverage in the web of science and it wasn't in the plan to improve it. So a third of our output uh, was not uh, findable and uh, was not uh, uh, found in the uh, bibliometric database. Um, uh, we as you can see, we have uh, about a quarter of our publications that are not in English, and uh, we wanted really to have a better view of that. So we wanted to change uh, the way we work on our bibliometrics uh, on this question. Um, another point uh, is that um, for years, uh, we have been working on improving uh, the data quality in the web of science and um, not to our satisfaction. Uh, as uh, people know and have said, uh, it's a proprietary data. So when we work to improve the quality, uh, we don't have any feedback and uh, continuous improvement on that. So um, there were a lot of errors that we knew of and uh, oh, there's still a lot of work to do. So for us, it was really a problem. It was a question of reorienting how we would do our metrics and how we can show um, a find a better way to show our scientific output. And this um, would uh, meet uh, the question of uh, our open science uh, policy uh, at the university, which is uh, a very major part of the strategic plan of the university. We have several texts that uh, explicit uh, this uh, policy with the open access policy uh, from 2019, the open data policy. We are very uh, uh, involved in uh, implementing the CORARA um, agreements. And um, for the library, uh, this policy um, really um, is uh, with a very, uh, involve uh, and uh, engage uh, policy to unsubscribe to a lot of resources when we did not agree with uh, the commercial uh, condition of the subscription or the open access policy of the commercial subscription. So uh, we uh, unsubscribed from a number of uh, journals and uh, databases. Uh, we unsubscribed from science uh, for 10 years. Uh, we unsubscribed from Springer journals and Nature. 
uh, from A3E and everything. So it's really uh, on a long-term uh, perspective, saying that we would unsubscribe from the web of science. It's just one element of a, a, a global policy uh, with uh, commercial and prop proprietary uh, editors. And uh, within the university, we don't do any bibliometric study at the researcher level. Uh, we have, we don't take the age index uh, in a question of uh, assessing the researcher's work and everything. So we are really not involved at that level. So all that uh, help uh, define where we wanted to go and where why we wanted to go on uh, open research information uh, policy and why we wanted to participate. Uh, for example, in the and sign the Barcelona Declaration and go in this direction and uh, do it concretely by using open uh, database such as OpenX. And then, no, I will leave it to Pascal for the rest. Yes, hi. Uh, so it all happened very quickly. Uh, in fact, in September, the library as a senior advisor for open science and the helping management department met OpenNX because we had some questions. And our main questions were, uh, does OpenNX data, uh, data meet sovereign universities' needs? Or to what extent is metadata present in OpenNX and what is the proportion of scientific outputs uh, in OpenNX? And is there a way to enrich our correct uh, metadata? And then uh, at the end of October uh, 2023, the national negotiations with Clarivate uh, came to an end and the institutions were, were, were uh, informed uh, of the conclusions and the terms of the contracts were not deemed uh, satisfactory by the university governance. So in November, uh, the governance team um, voted to unsubscribe from the Web of Science. We notified these decisions to the community in December. We informed um, the, the, the units, uh, directors, uh, the, the laboratories, directors, and a presentation was made to the research committee. We also communicated the decision to uh, our private correspondence. And finally, uh, we published our decision in the university newsletter. And it was at this point that the press release uh, was published and a web page centralized all the information and the page detailed uh, the reason for subscribing. Uh, the page also presented OpenAlex and listed the alternative to the web of science uh, for bibliographic searching uh, with OpenAlex, with AL or National uh, Open Repository, Isidore, the Lens and so on. And it also lists, listed um, the, the tools for journal identifications. And the cancellation uh, of our subscription to Web of Science became effective in January 2024, and the university began supporting OpenAnnex. So in November, um, when the dis dis decision uh, to uh, unsubscribe was taken, the library brought together a working group uh, with bibliometrician, the bibliometrician of the, the library, librarians in charge of uh, uh, subscriptions and uh, open access, and also trainers. So it was uh, inside the library, this working group was, was inside the library. And the aim was to cover all aspects of the subjects and not to overlook uh, any use of the web of science. We then listed the uses uh, made of the web of science. And at Sorbonne University, the web of science was used at uh, on two levels. Uh, the first one for steering the university's policy with bibliometric uh, analysis. And we also have a watch uh, on the university's production in order to encourage authors to deposit in uh, the Al National Repository. And the second level uh, was for researchers and students uh, with uh, bibliographic uh, research, literature, reviews, and identification of journals and citation tracking. So these uses uh, are fully supported uh, by OpenAnnex. And in preparation for the transition to OpenAnnex, we updated the institution's ROR as OpenAnnex relies on the ROR to list publication 
by research uh, structure. So currently we are working on uh, detailing Aurore and we have a list of structure for which we do not uh, have attached publications. And here you can see an example of the laboratory. Uh, it has no publication attached to it. And uh, however, they do exist in OpenAlex. Open and the problem is linked to a sufficiently detailed ROR. Uh, we have to add acronyms, translation, and structures number uh, to ensure that the history, and to ensure that the, the history of uh, the structure is filled in. And finally, we are working to improve the quality of researchers' signatures. The signatures uh, rules are not always properly applied or understood, and we have room for improvements, uh, mainly in the, in the fac faculty of arts and humanities, because researchers simply sign a sovereign university or departments of literature, for instance. So we are, uh, we are in the process of developing a signature tool that gives to researchers the correct form of signature, as well as uh, the raw identifier. And all the researcher has to do is click on copy button and send the information to publisher. And uh, as a conclusion remarks, uh, our I rep open repository remains our central tool for referencing our publications. And OpenAlex is a base for displaying this data. Uh, and to improve this exposure, we need to work on the quality of our metadata. And we are more aware of the need to implement an identification policy at Sorbonne University with Crossref DOI uh, for Sorbonne University publication, archived for our researchers, and ROR uh, for the affiliations. And finally, the signature system is complex, uh, especially in France, and it needs to be uh, simplified uh, using national recommendations that we do not have uh, right now and uh, relying solely on the raw to remove any ambiguity. I think it would be uh, most simple, simpler uh, for uh, the researchers and tools uh, such as OpenAlex. Great, thanks so 